Metro, Metro Detroit area. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm excited about our, our prospects. In fact, you were surprised, weren't you? Well, it, it's interesting looking at the area that the news has come out of, you know, the Detroit. And believe me, when you run in other parts of Michigan, uh, you know the division between Detroit and the, and the rest of Michigan that a lot of times is created. And so the metro, uh, the metro area, people have been uh, real positive in terms of the way the governor's finally decided, to t you know, has finally taken leadership in, in the city of Detroit. I, I should say, you know, finally in terms of a governor taking real leadership and being able to say, we're going to clean up this mess and we're going to fix it. And this is something where I, th I believe Governor Snyder has provided great, uh, you know, great leadership. One of the things I always say back in the <laughs> district of folks is, you know, the best thing about Governor Snyder is not political. There's no sacred cows. The worst thing about Governor Snyder is not political and there's no <laughs> sacred cows. And I think people appreciate, you know, the honest and forthrightness. And is he getting good marks in the rest of the state for what he's doing for Detroit? Does that show up? It, something that, that we see is that, uh, gov you know, Governor Snyder uh, is, is we've seen compared to a year ago or two years ago or three years ago, uh, continues to improve in terms of his favorability and approval rate. And is Detroit helping him in outstate? I guess is I, the question. I, I think being able to may have a decisive decision because I know when I mentioned back home a strong Detroit means a strong Michigan. And I think that I think people really see that as true. But that doesn't mean you just send a blank check to and does that mean city. that you send three hundred and fifty million to Detroit? And that's something that the budget process is going to be working out. But there's 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 a lot of questions in terms of of uh, making sure that there is sacrifice with any any kind You're of You're not a yes vote on that yet, are you? I, I, th I think there's a lot of questions that need to be answered before uh, anything goes on. And, and, and I have a question is that, you know, it's, it's great to see the foundation stepping up. You got to see the unions come to the table. You have to be able to see that the city, that it's, that it's a real sacrifice that if you go through this route, so. Uh, I had one other question. Let's see. You, let's see. When uh, Brandon was here, here was the line that he used. Okay, the Republicans came into your house, stole your stereo, took all your CDs, and <laughs> brought you one Burt Bacharach CD back. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whether you like that analogy or not, is that what you guys did? Well, I think what what they did is they were trying to sell their their record, as I said earlier, and the voters didn't buy it. I mean, it, it's it's uh, Brandon Dillon. He, he, he continues, you know to sell a message that in 2000, you know, the same message in 2012, that they were going to beat the speaker, they were going to win back the majority, look at these margins. And this is the same message that you'd expect from somebody involved in terms of political spin. But why would they continue to beat that drum if they didn't have polling data that said it was working? Well, as I said, they should continue doing what, exactly well, what they're doing. Part of what they say, of course, is they cut, ed that you guys cut education. But actually, as Snyder says, you didn't cut education. If you count all the money you put into health and retirement, and not just the per pupil, you know, um, stipend, you actually, in the three years, have actually increased it slightly. Okay, so why don't you say that? Well, the challenge because you just accept it, and they're just pounding away. I don't at accept this. it. Well, you I, may I, not I, personally, I, I, but you're <coughs> not getting the message out. The, the state resources into education has gone up over the last three years, and it continues to go up in terms of our investment, just as the same as we saw a quarter million less yeah, students but, but than we Democrats had But the Democrats say it ago. isn't going up, and they're, they're well, so polling it was. The classroom. But yeah, no, because they keep talking classroom, they don't the mention The challenge the when part. we came in in 2011 was the Obama stimulus put in $800 million a year. Yeah. And we had to deal with the fact that the federal government took out $800 million a right. year from the Obama administration. Yeah. I'm not and so if anybody disinvested from their it's classrooms, your messaging. it's your messaging. Your, messaging. your messaging. You're not responding to the Democrats' charge that you have cut it in the classroom, as Kathy well, says. And, and, and I think since the state of the state, you've seen that in terms of you know the accuracy and what really ha has well, happened. Well, you had a chance this morning and you didn't do it. You didn't say we spent a billion dollars more. Yeah, on education. He, he, Tim even gave you the question. You didn't. You didn't even address it. You just accept. You it. only give me so much time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there anything? I don't in accept your, it. Is there anything in your internal polling data that gives you pause? vis-a-vis -vis the Democrats making some headway. I, I'm excited about this year. There's nothing, th nothing I, that scares I, you. I, you know, 
um, come on, Eric. I, I've been I've been around for you know I may be young, but I I have uh, you've been, been around. Yes. For, Does it look as good bit. now as it did in 2010? I I was running for my first office yeah. in 2010. But you know what the climate was. Yeah. In the fall of 2000, there's a lot of excitement, and I'm really excited about the the individuals. You think it could be almost as good as 2010? And, and, and it's about the quality of the individuals you also have in the districts and how they fit those districts, because you can do a one-term fluke something. But I'm excited about the quality of the candidates. You think that we the have. the seats they picked up last time were a fluke? I, I think some of them we have a real good. Real good chance. I named some of them. Right yeah. next door. So, Eaton County is a good yeah. example. Yeah, Eaton County, Kent County, Muskegon. What's uh, the top? What's the top number you can get to if everything falls into place? Well, we're we're going to be over sixty. Over sixty. Yep. That's your prediction. That's my, that's my prediction. That's a net net too. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Can we? Uh, yeah, we'll get, get a picture. picture. <laughs> Jeez. First, I'm trying to get you a little yeah. press, Tim. <laughs> we don't need press. We got enough press. <laughs> what we need is pull. <laughs> um, take but, your mic off, and we'll uh, we'll just. You want us?